Let's talk about blend modes. It's an awesome feature of Photoshop which every designer should know about. Blend modes is a way to blend pixels of two images with each other to get different types of effects. Now let's see how blend mode works into the layer panel. There are so many reasons for blend modes to be popular among you designers. You can correct the photos, you can convert a lighter image to a darker one or a darker image to a lighter one, or you can create several types of effects by using a particular blend mode for particular images. Here I have a rough texture image for my background. I was going to use another image and blend it with this background. Here is the blend mode menu at the top of the layer panel, and by default it always is on normal mode. There are various types of blending modes grouped in various categories in the list. You can choose any one of them and create a different effect every time. Let me take another image to blend with the background texture. So here are two different layers. To apply blending mode, you need to select the layer and open the blend mode list and choose any one of them. In blending mode list, each group of blend modes have certain functions. Like the first selection here darkens the image. It affects only the overall darkness of the image. The second group affects the overall lightness of the image. It allows lighter areas to show through and makes darker areas drop back. The next group affects the lightness and darkness both. I choose Overlay here. The next group creates inverted effects. And the last group in the list deals with the colors of images. You can also change blend modes sequentially by pressing up and down arrow keys. I think Multiply is a better option for this image. It gives a striking look to this image. We can also get blending modes in Layer Style panel. For that, let me draw a new shape. Then give some layer style to it so that we can check blending modes there in Layer Style panel. Let me check on Outer Glow and set its parameters. Now you can see on top the same list of blend modes over here, which was in the blend mode menu out there in the layer panel. You can choose any blend mode you want. One more thing is you can play with opacity of the layer when using the blend modes to get better results. See, I'm using color burn mode. I like this blending effect, but it has over brightened the image so I can drag down the opacity of the background layer to set the image properly. Now you can see the difference. Now I hope you get the basic idea of how powerful a feature the blend mode is.